Hello students, in this video we are going to practice some more library classes programs. So first program is to input a set of five letters. So that is my first step. Okay. And next step, convert each letter into uppercase. You have to make it all the letters into capital letters. So that is my second step. And next, find and display the number of vowels. Number of vowels and number of consonants. Vowels, you know, A, E, I, O, U. And number of consonants means which are not vowels. So you have to find it and you have to count the number. So if you want to count the number, you need a counter variable for vowels and consonants. So that is my third step. Now I am going to convert all these steps into Java program. So first I am giving a printing statement to the user that to enter the five letters. So inside for loop from 0 to less than 5 means from 0 to 4. Total 5 letters I need to accept from the user. So inside for loop only I can give this statement to accept the character. So first time user is entering the first character. So how many times you have to enter? 5 times you have to enter. And each character is converted into uppercase. So this is the format to convert a character into uppercase. Which one? Character dot to uppercase. Of which character we are going to convert that character variable should be inside this bracket. So I am storing it in the same variable. Okay. So next I am going to check each character present these vowels are not equal to equal to uh, that means I am checking whether it contains uh, whether it is matches with capital A in single quotes you should give because it is a character and using a logical operator you should check if either of either one of these vowels comes the counter variable for vowels will increment it each time Okay, so else, else means what? The letters which are not vowels, that means consonants. Consonants, I am giving the counter variable as C. So, if this is not the case, means you can increment the counter variable for consonants. And you can print this statement. And don't forget that printing statement should be outside the for loop. Then only they can print every, uh, they can uh, check each statement. So, uh, all of you go through this program and in question they may ask uh, maybe 10 letters or 20 letters and all and I may uh, I try to give it as 5 so that I can show you the output easily so compile it So, first character is capitals. In capitals, I should, uh, okay, small letters I will give. So that it will convert into uppercase now. A, S, D, E, I. So, number of vowels that are A, E, and I. So, three vowels and remaining are the consonants okay this is the output next program is to accept an integer number condition is there in between 0 and 27 you should enter a number so my first task is to accept an integer and next display the corresponding letter of the alphabet for example in order we will say first number uh, first letter will be a and second letter will be B and third letter will be C. But if you want to print this alphabet according to this order, see the difference between the ASCII code and this order. For example, uh, capital A is in the first position, right? And what is the ASCII code of A? 65. So what is the difference between 65 and 1? 64. And take the next one, the second position, that means 2 is B and its ASCII code is 66. What is 66 minus 2? That is also 64. And here also 67 minus 3, 
you will get 64. So till z you will be getting 64. That means whatever number the user entering 1, 2, 3 according to the order, uh, we should increment that number by 64. Then only we can display the corresponding character. Okay. So First, I am going to tell the user to enter a number between 0 and 27 so that he will enter a number and I am storing in a variable called n and I am giving the condition using conditional statement if it should be greater than 0 and less than 27 and with that integer number I am going to increment by 64. I am going to increase it by 64. And that integer number I am going to convert into character type. You can either solve this in uh, multiple steps or in single steps itself you can add or you can increment the value by 64. And also you can convert that integer type into character type. And you can store it in a character type variable and you can print that letter. Okay, so else, else means what? If the user is printing any 28 or 30, more than 27 or less than 0, so it will shows invalid number. So that is why in the question they have given the condition. So uh, it should be, uh, it, it is very compulsory to follow that condition. So we will compile it. So here I am going to give, so that means 2 plus 64, that is uh, 66. 66 means the corresponding character is capital B. So you have to be, uh, you have to familiar with the ASCII codes of each character, then only you can, you will be knowing uh, how to increment or with with what value you have to increment with the original number so that you can display the corresponding character. Next program is to input two characters from the keyboard. So my first step to accept any two characters from the user in character data type. And next find the difference between their ASCII codes. That means you have to convert those characters into integer type then only you can find the calculation or difference you can find okay so that is my second step convert characters into ascii codes the next step i can find the difference between those ascii numbers or integer type values then after that according to this condition you can use if conditional statement so that you can display the corresponding statements according to these conditions okay so first i am going to accept two characters from the user enter the first character i stored it in ch1 variable enter the second character stored it in ch2 variable and now in single step i am going to convert this both characters into integer type and also I am finding the difference and I am storing it in D variable. That means integer data type variable. Okay. So in single step, I covered these two steps. Okay. So, so that you can reduce the steps in Java. And next we are going to uh, check the condition. If D greater than 0, you can print this. If D less than 0, you can print this. Else. Else means d equal to 0 okay else means not this condition and also not this condition is satisfied so you can print both characters are same so we'll compile it So entering the first character and second character. So they are uh, finding the difference between the ASCII codes of A and G. Then finally according to the condition based on difference they are printing the statement.
Next program is to input a set of any 10 integer numbers. So my first task, I have to input 10 integers so that I can use for loop and find the sum and product of the numbers. So find the sum and product, that is the second step. And next, I have to join the sum and product to form a single number. I don't want to find the total of that. Joining means I want to convert those integers into string first. So here we are doing joining or concatenation of two strings. So before joining this integer type and this integer type you have to convert into string. Then only you can join both the strings together. Then after that again you are converting the string into integer for displaying that value. Okay, so first step I am going to ask the user to enter 10 numbers and inside for loop 10 numbers I need to enter. So from 0 to 9 I am giving less than 10 means 9. So inside this I am accepting how many numbers? 10 numbers and each time when the value will be incrementing, counter variable will be incrementing means each time this some value is added to the each number and product is also multiplied with each number and saved it in sum variable and product variable. So that I am already de uh, declared sum into zero and product because it is a multiplicative identity I initialized into one. Okay, so I closed the loop and now I am going to convert those into string. So using this method integer dot to string so t this t, t should be small letter and this cap uh, s should be capital okay so you are converting this sum value to a string type and product value also you are changing into another string called s2 and now we are going to combine both the string string s i'm calling it as s equal to i'm joining both the strings and now I want to display so that I again I am converting this string into integer type using this method integer dot parse int. So finally I am displaying that integer value that means combination of sum and product. So we will see the uh, output. So 10 numbers I am going to enter. So this is my uh, joining, joining of sum value and the product value. So if this is not clear, we can more it, uh, we can make a uh, more clear. So here I will uh, display the sum and product value. So it will be more clear. The sum of numbers like that I can give here also the product of numbers. Okay. So I'm entering 10 numbers again. So you can see here the sum of numbers is 15. So 1 plus, 2 plus, 1 plus till here you need to find the total sum. So that is 15 
and if you find the product of all these numbers you will get 24 and you are concatenating the string that means you are joining both the, both the strings together so 15 is combined with the 24 so this is this will be your answer okay so uh, for uh, suppose if you are not converting this integer type into string means if you concatenate or if you join using plus operator this 15 will be added to 24 and it will give the number 39 so i don't want that i just want to join the sum and product that is why i converted this value to string type 